But nevertheless, let's start talking. Mr. Alex, it's good to have you on the show. I appreciate everyone who's on the panel right now. My brother, Mr. Alex, please talk to us. Good evening to you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Nejawash. I greet everybody, my fellow panelists, those on the comment section. I greet all of you, viewers worldwide, our enemies among us. Thank you for taking our time from your busy schedule. We continue no, to Alex, talk. Sorry that I have to, because why, why, why do you always mention our enemies amongst us? Why? Why do we agree because, because of <laughs> because of my training, call my political training. It's part of it. Okay. So you, you have to realize you have enemies. Even when you are campaigning, you have to include their own um, speech in your speech to know that you you're gonna not run from them. You you're gonna defeat them to to protect the state or the country or your constituency. Okay. So you must yeah, also. You're always saying that. You're always saying that. That's fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if you watch Obama in his first speech before he became a president, he spoke about those who want to ferment trouble. He said, "We will defeat you." He told them face to face. He said, mm -hmm. "He said, I know you are here. We will defeat you." So at the moment on, I remember on uh, Nigeria Watch platform, we 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 are not fighting anybody. We just let them know we know that they are here. <laughs> yes, okay. God bless you, my brother. Go Josh, thank you so much. It's like people don't understand what is going on. There's an understanding people don't have. They say, oh, you talk too much. Oh, we're always talking. You got to keep talking. You got to keep talking. From 1967 to 1992, Mandela was talking with the ANC until freedom came to South Africa. You got to keep talking. Yes, they, they were protests. There was no internet at that time. They, they would have used it. Majer Fashek was talking for South Africa and Mandela's freedom. As we speak, even Julius Malema of South Africa is still talking. P.L. Lumumba is still talking in Uganda and in Kenya. As we speak right now, people are still talking in the United States, talking about elections, talking about Donald Trump, talking about Joe Biden. We must keep talking. You, you got to keep talking. We have not even started. People make a living from talking. People make money from TikTok, from Facebook, from YouTube. They make their living. There are people who are full-time guys on the media making their money on talking. We're going to keep talking. They are talking for different reasons, and we are talking for our own reasons. We got to keep talking. Young people, wake up. Antonio Enaro was, I, 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 I like the way Showaray was speaking history. You see, if I was the one, people would say, oh, it's always historical. You cannot discuss Nigeria problem without going back to history. Unless you are deceiving yourself. Unless you are a layman. Being a layman is not an insult. Like, you are not, you are not grounded. You cannot discuss Nigeria panacea, Nigeria antidotes, without looking about historical for go. And I'm very happy. He's mentioned Anthony Enauro. He was in his 20s. He was in his 20s. Look at the Senegalese president. You can see the fire and the venom. He's not coming to joke, I believe. Because first impression matters. First impression comes. What brought me up on this platform was first impression against land grabbing, against injustice. Just after Abaseki's second tenor. So for me, I'm happy with what Shovere said. Young people don't be discouraged. Ojuku was so young when he spoke for his people. Peter Obi was, I think, in his early 40s when he became a governor in Anambra State. And he made a difference. Impacts, great impacts. I know there are young, stupid people too. There are young, miserable people, young, corrupted people, young, polluted people, young, blind people who know that they are not seen physically, but they are blind in their mind. Who all they think about is food and money and this and that. They don't have visions. So we that God has given visions, we have to keep talking. Talk against injustice. Talk against oppression. Talk against the old system of wickedness by leaders. Talk against electricity darkness. Talk against Of running elections, talk for justice, talk for you know, talk against the hues of the society. We must keep talking. So long Malema is still talking in South Africa, 
So long, PL, PL Lumumba is still talking. We must keep talking. Peter Obi is still talking. We must keep talking. Guys, we will keep talking. I know a time will come. Young people are going to take affair. They, they're going to take over the affairs of, of this country. I know. I hope they will have the right mindset. It's also a disaster if you give a young, a, a exuberant, youthful man the realms of power who has no vision, who has no passion, who, who has no desire to help his people. It's a disaster. So for me, I'm, I'm grateful to Shobori for going historical. Nam the Ezekiel is the Bafemi Awalawas, the Anthony Enauro, Abad Macaulay. Those people were not old men when they were fighting for Nigeria's independence. We must keep talking. Don't, don't let anybody talk you down. When the kitchen is too hot, you see them trying to talk you down, try to tell you you shout too much. If you want to shout, shout. If in any way you pass your information, pass it. Everybody is not the same. We all speak differently. We all grow up from different backgrounds, but let our vision be the same. Our vision for humanity, our vision for a better society, our vision for, I mean, our vision against oppression, against darkness, electricity darkness. In 2024, we are still having darkness in Nigeria, and people are saying they are developing. Thank God for, for Mr. Alex Oti. Thank God for him. Thank God for letting you know you can't develop a state in darkness. You can't develop, you cannot do anything in darkness. Obaseki, my governor, you can't develop in darkness. Osiomo power plant is not, is, is not reaching Amagba. Many people are not using it. It's still darkness. And it's our money that built it. If you had done that one, you know I will praise you. Alex Oti proved, forget about this, be on for 20 years. Leave that story, leave that fallacy. So let's keep talking. She already said young people are interested in being PAs. Yes. When I was <laughs> in 206, Miss, Miss Tenage Hours, when I left university, <laughs> Iyari Moto's son was my classmate, the very first son. He's in UK now. He's a pastor. You know, he was a PA to Osage. Samson Osage, who was in House of Rep. <laughs> the guy was, <laughs> he was, <laughs> he was feeling like, he was, he was feeling like a mini god to us who were his friends. <laughs> that guy, you know, you know, as he grow, as he get more knowledge, as he get more wisdom, the guy was the PA on the hundred K those days, and he would, he, he would take us to Abuja, he would take us to, uh, um, you know, some quarters. Then he will, he will, he, he will go by plane. He will pay for tickets for us at Bijo Park. He will, go, he will go and wait for us at the park and pick. He was a nice guy though, but he's beginning to play on my head. That and, and I was wishing God, I wish I can be like this guy. Why don't I have an uncle who is because they are related, they are from the same village, Egba. So it was the father's connection, Yariamoto himself and the rest. So and the guy was feeling very happy. That was what he was saying. PA to politicians, very happy. He was fulfilled. He was oh my god, he was on top of the world. I, I was happy for him too. I was happy to also know him. I was happy that he, 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 he I, I was happy that he was my friend, even me. <laughs> I look at myself, I just, I just, I just say, what, what, what's that mean? Yeah, and it's wrong. It's wrong. It's good to be PA. Nothing's wrong in being a PA. It's a honorable job in a door. He's been in Benin, it's called uh, Osekbo. It's just a baptism name in English, PA. Osekbo means carry a bag. Just carry a bag and write things, PA. That's what it's called in the Haitian Benin Kingdom, Osekbo. <laughs> that is somebody that carries a white man's bag is there. And when the white man is coming, somebody carries his bag. That's how the PA team came into our ancient Bini Kingdom those days. So, <laughs> so what so what was right. We should think outside of the bus. I'm happy I joined this movement. The obedient movement, the Niger Watch movement. I, 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 and I have never looked back. I have never regretted it. We may argue, we, we may have issues sometimes on our ideological stand. I'm so proud to be associated with all of you on this platform. My, 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 my erudite, my eloquent panelists. You can't come to Nigeria Watch with false information. People will debunk it. You can't come here with false certificates. People will ask you questions. You'll be sweating from your nash. You'll be, you'll be sweating all over, even inside condition. So and I know it's a platform that has it all. It's, there's a balance. If you need somebody who speak who speak pidgin English all through, is here. If you need somebody who can explain to you about software, is here. 
If you need somebody about media, is here. If you need somebody about po politics and history, I'm here. If you need somebody who will talk about women empowerment, Madam Rita is there. Defending women in every area, <laughs> Madam Rita is there. So if you need somebody to talk about your governor in your state, come here, you will see. Oh, my brother, lovely <laughs> Yes, so we have it all. If you need that, if you need counseling in your marriage, mommy diaspora is there. Yes, if you need prayers, she's there too. Mommy, mommy, mommy diaspora has prayed for me before a long time ago, about twice like that. So it's a balanced platform. Young people aspire. We may be few who, who wants to go into government now. Don't worry. I was talking to my ward chairman last two days, my Labour Party ward chairman. The, the guy was telling me, he said, if I was a bully, I would have stepped down. The guy is really killing the popularity of our party. You know, every, everywhere is so quiet. I told him, I said, a bully type, it could be the last time we are going to have them. Young people are coming. You think they, are, they, they, they left. They didn't leave. OB just need to bring that spark. A bully will give way. And a bully also is, is he, he will go. God brought Labour Party. God brought OB. If it, it was meant to be, he will go. He will go if you like go and do convention hide somewhere. Peter Obi is a child of destiny with the way he shook the foundations of our political ground, beating them in Abuja, beating them in Lagos, beating them in Benin. Benin is a strong core PDP state since 99. Obi uprooted everything, put Kekema Pair Riders in House of Rep. We don't really care if they are misbehaving or not, but look at history. So, young people, you did it. So, Mr. Peter will be show a race, trying to remind you know the power you have. Know thyself, oh young man. Know thyself, oh young woman. I believe in you guys. I continue to believe in you. You did not disappoint me in the obedient movement. You did not. In the Lekki Togets, in the NSAS uh, protest, you did not. Even when people were killed, you did not. You did not. It was just a test run. I'm sure now we did it better with the elections. And we, we, we will get better. All we need to do is to encourage ourselves, pick ourselves up, learn more on how we can get involved in the political process. It may not be under this government anymore. It may not be under this, 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 this fraudulent arrangement anymore. It could be in another way. Let's get involved. Let's outnumber them. Just as we did it during the elections. Don't be discouraged about Abure's greediness, Abure's allegations. You know, don't be discouraged. Something will happen. If we move somewhere else, I, I said it the other day, KPP party, EFDD, Nigeria should say I should not say EFCC, EFDD, SSNN, KKS, whatever it is, I'll follow him. Because the guy has become a role model. He has become an inspiration. The more they try to oppress him, the more he's telling the young people, I'm here for you. He did not go to Dubai to go and sit down. He didn't go to UK. So young people, look at Mr. Peter Obi and get some inspiration. I told my watch him, I said, sir, don't worry. Calm down. Relax. But for me, if Obi leaves, I came to tell you I will leave. Yes, I will leave Labour Party if Obi leaves. After all, oh, no, I never forgive me card. He was laughing about it. He said, oh, twin, oh your brother is PDP. Who would you go and join him? They said, no. I will find somewhere else to go. So you put to try and mad pressure on Abure. You that are watch chairman, mad pressure on him and let him go. So that at least we can breathe in a dust state. So back to show worry. And I want to appeal to Mr. Shawari. I know he's listening. Shawari don't joke with Nigeria. Wash. Someone, someone told me, if he's not listening live, he will listen later because he, he's always having that, that, uh, that uh, what's it called? Um, notification. Mr. Uh, Mr. Shawari, I've always liked you. I know, I know you are not perfect. I was expecting you to jump, jump it will be at the time. I, will, I still respect you. I know what you did as a student union leader. And I know I've never said you are too young to be a president. I'll never be among those who told you to go and contest a senator or governor first. No. I've always believed in you, but I was expecting you to just jump it out, Obi. If you are joined forces with Obi, if you just managed to strike a deal, and maybe you were the vice and all, you were de just there as a DG of campaign or whatever, I'm sure our mandate would not have been stolen. I know you. I know you. Our mandate would not have been stolen. It would have been difficult. Maybe by now we'll still be, we'll still be, you know, on that matter. Please, sir, find a way to join forces with people that have the same ideas like you. So I just feel that, um, show worry, please. We love you. We respect you. And please join forces so that we can unseat these wicked people in power. 
As for Senegalese president, well, congratulations to him. I, 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 I will not be too, um, like he said, we should not be too happy now. We should watch him first. Look at Burkina Faso. Yes, he's military, but he's, uh, he is a young man. He's a young person and he's doing amazing things. As we speak, more than six companies are in, are in Burkina Faso installing permanent electricity around the whole country. According to Vladimir Putin, he's going to run for a hundred and something years, depending on maintenance. After a hundred years, they have to keep doing maintenance. They are going to have their own first, after Gaddafi those days, first nuclear plant in, 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 in Africa, or should I say in Black Africa? Because Libya was uh, Libya is an Arab, um, you know, not not African country. So I believe in this young guy. First impression matters. He has impressed me. I know he will not fail me. So I will I will keep my accolades in that um, junction until I see him. But I heard he's doing a lot. He has already started reviewing people's lives that were lost under the past governments. Hey God, like I was when I was reading about it, him people lost their lives since fifteen years ago. 20 years ago, he's calling their family members to bring proof, to bring proof of barrier of incident that happened through government, government negligence, government rascalities, trade bullets from police. They want to heal the land. This is how to rule. They want to make apologies and compensation. This is how to rule. Until we visit the numbers of people that died in the Indibia France Civil War, Nigeria may never know peace. It's going to be up and down. And I'm sure that was part of Obi's mission. To, to really carry out a reconciliation process from all angles, to visit people in the north, in the south, in the west, to bring people together. I saw it during his campaign. Look at what the, 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 the Senegalese young men are doing there. Young people are doing there already. Less than 48 hours in office, he's already asking for a review of those who lost their lives due to government negligence. That the, gov the government wants to pay compensation, wants to visit those, those issues again. Tell me, why would their spirit not be clapping in the spirit world? Why would their souls not finally rest in peace? Why would Senegal not progress? If that is the first thing he wants to do, reconciliation, making peace. If it's an old woman who is left in that family and she sees the president sending people to say, we are interested, she will cry in joy and say, oh, thank God. Ah, my God has remembered our family. This is what happened. This is the picture we have. This, these are the evidence. So these are the things we are lacking in Nigeria. And spirits don't sleep until you give them that, that peaceful barrier and remembrance. They don't. You think Americans are stupid every year? They lay flowers. They do remembrance day. British, they, they, they do the same thing. European Union, the same thing. Every year, British government come to Benin City to lay flowers in the Kawa Road. The first set of soldiers that were killed by the ancient Benin Kingdom Army. The grave of Captain Phillips is seen in the Kerman Road. The, 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 the consulates always come there to lay flower to a fallen hero, to a fallen British citizen. Every year, the powers can testify of that. Every year, Captain Phillips and the other captain. And, and you will see the pictures of those who were also you know, murdered at Ring Road. The British pay homage to them. You don't joke with the dead. It's only those that died due to national problems, due to you know, government issues. You have to you have to carry out a proper reconciliation in me and if possible pay compensation the king of holland about a year and nine months ago came out and apologized to the whole world to the whole african world and the black american world that they are sorry for the role his family played in the transatlantic slave trade you think they are stupid that's appeasing the souls of those that were also taken out you, you think they are stupid yeah they are making restitution, returning artifacts. You think they are stupid. And Nigerian leaders, they don't read. They don't listen. Once they don't win the election, you start to dance. Lo, 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 bugao, bugao. That's, that's all they know. That's all they know. They're going to do party they, and they sleep off. The next day, they are going to Abuja. That's all they know. They don't open books. They don't employ experts. They, even their own advisors, most of them do, don't even know how to advise themselves. So look at what countries are doing around you. Ghana, Ro Rwanda spent more than five years reconciling, digging out history, digging out facts about the Rwanda genocide. They are seeing, they are seeing paying compensation. They are seeing reconciling as we speak. Suddenly, the economy picked up. 
their, their, their infrastructure picked up, their security picked up. They are not stupid. We must, re we must go back to the Biafran Civil War in a good way. Reconciliation. That's why the Southeast is having problem. I'm talking here as an expert. That's why the Southeast is having problem. The, that's why the North is having problem too. Because the spirits are fighting themselves also. You will hear kidnapping, raping. So, so uh, gentlemen, I just want to say the Senegalese president, we should emulate, we should learn, and we should also remember that as young people, we can aspire. Yes, women fail at first, first, second, third, fourth time. Abraham Lincoln left elections about seven times before he became American president. He broke his final cord, lost his only daughter. Go and verify. But on the eighth time he won as an American president. So we should keep trying and get involved in the process. The process, the, the process is for all of us and for our children. The land belongs to us. Let's look at Senegal and get inspired. Uh, Mr. Lajawa, thank you very much. I'll leave it here. Thank you very um, much, my brother, Mr. Alex. That was a wonderful submission. In fact, I like the part where you came from, talking about the national reconciliation. To be honest, we've not seen any leader that can that, that have done that in Nigeria. I believe Peter Obi would have done that anyway. It's very, very sad. You know, national of course, of course. Peter Obi's very, body language said it during elections. Exactly. National reconciliation means a lot to us because at the end of the day, a lot of people are angry. As a leader, when you come into power like this, that's the first thing that you're supposed to do. Okay, uh, let me quickly move on to Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, it's good to have you on the show, sir. Good evening to you. Abeg, talk to us. Good evening, Mr. Elvis. Good evening to uh, your mommy, our mommy. Uh, that's the mommy of this platform. And then yes. good evening to uh, fellow panelists. And good evening to callers. Uh, Madam Origin has already called. And then Chimezia. Uh, and then good evening to others that are commenting. Um, yesterday I tried to call, uh, but I couldn't get through. Um, but today I'm here. I had to take out a little time from work to, you know, to bring up some salient issues so we can go on. In media, when you are giving a brand ambassador what the brand manager or the company demands from you is for you to two times a day or two times a week or whatever it is, you, you have to write something that will generate some buzz so that people will start discussing it. That's how brands are sold. And sincerely speaking, that's what Daniel Boala is doing for Tinubu. He is like a brand ambassador that is paid to generate buzz in the social media industry so that there will be something to talk about. But his own is skewed to bring in Dampi Tobi. Maybe there is something that we are missing here. Um, Buala will write, Nanoga will write, uh, the one um, in London, um, the former, what's his name again, the former advisor to Good Luck, the one I said full at 50, I've forgotten his name again, I don't even want to keep such people in my, in my, in my memory. They will write, all of these people are under the payroll of the media department of Tinubu. They are the spokespeople that are paid to write something. As soon as his own goes down now, another person will write another one. And it will be, unfortunately, he's not even the only person that ran against Tinubu. But it tells us that his presence is making them very, very uncomfortable. They, that's even a sign that they know he won the election and they don't want to take him for granted. That if he could do that in eight months, if they don't start now to run him down, anything could happen when election again is 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 um, uh, planned. But that's by the way. You see, I want to ask this platform what we really want to do because yesterday it was looking like there were conflicts in what we want to achieve in this platform. 
I see that you support or you want Nam De Kalu to be released. It's either you just want him to be released, but you don't support what he supports. Or maybe you will explain to me. Because each time you say you want a better Nigeria, you want a better Nigeria, you're working for a better Nigeria. But the government we have, every day it is so clear that they are not working for a better Nigeria. So if we want a better Nigeria and the people that are leading us don't want better Nigeria, they will have to do something to dismantle the criminality. So a, a country does not grow on hope, hopefully, hopefully. We work to get what we want. So we have to work with like minds. If Nnamdi Kalu comes out today, Nnamdi Kalu is not interested in Nigeria, in one Nigeria. He's not. Shawode is not interested in one Nigeria the way it is under this kind of government. Sunday go is not interested. So okay, let me quickly come in, uh, Mr. Ike. Uh, you know, okay. you asked me a question indirectly, so let me quickly answer. Is it easy and straightforward? I'm okay. happy that you mentioned Sunday go or you mentioned Sowore. So I would like to come in the angle of Sowore. Sowore doesn't okay. want a, a one Nigeria, but Sowore is not inciting any kind of violence. Sowore have not in, uh, caused any kind of chaos in any part of the country, right? Are you aware, right? Okay, see, Sowore no, no, doesn't want... Let me finish. Just answer me first, sir. Has Sowore ever incited any kind of violence across the country? Sowore is not... He has never done anything like that. He has not okay. said... It's not only okay. by okay. violence that... We, Okay, Hold on, sir. Let me finish now. Let me finish. You know, you okay. have your time. Your, your time is paused because you called okay. in. That's why I needed to quickly address this. Now, Sowore is advocating for a better Nigeria, just like the way I'm doing. And Sowore oh. is, you know, you say he's not interested in one Nigeria. I, I'm not sure about that, though. I'm not sure, but I know Sowore is advocating for a better Nigeria. He wants Nigeria to work. But if he's not interested in one Nigeria, that's the only area I'm not sure. Maybe I need to do more research or focus more on that area. But because you mentioned Shore, that is the excitement about all these things. The question, the, 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 the my stand and the channel's stand, Nigeria's stand, is straightforward. Somebody that is citing violence can never be promoted on this platform. It's easy now. It's English. The English that they speak, not be, not be Swahili. You understand? Okay. In English. Okay. So it's just let me, let me, thank you. Sir. Okay, let me let me let me come back again to that. Since we're talking about not promoting if you remember one time whether two weeks ago or last week i said let's totally remove simon Epa from our discussion totally because yesterday when somebody called and was making some claims that Samuel Ekpa wants to do this and you ask him oh he's a criminal right and he says yes and at the time his phone his line went bad you called him back and so on to try to extract some more information even when the guy had no evidence it kind of breaks the unity of the people that are fighting for one cause because anybody can pick up a phone and make allegations that are not substantiated from the beginning i told you that i don't like his style he's not my person i'm not his fan i don't follow him i don't listen to him mr but, ike mr ike even yeah, though he ahead. doesn't have evidence, as long as he used the word allegedly, which I asked him, if you listen to that broadcast... Hey, but the guy was not ready to use allegedly. No, no, but, said I, that. but I told him that, I asked him, do you have evidence? Did you? you I, I guess you heard me asking him, right? It, it, it's just like if anybody also come and say allegedly that no, someone no, no. ever is... ask him if he have evidence? You said it, you said it. And what I'm so saying is... Now, so should I just... Stop him from talking. What about Madan Madanena that was talking on the screen? Should I send that away from the screen just because oh, he, no. he, he's saying that his village people cannot go anywhere anymore because of some oh, let's, 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 un let's understand. Let's understand. Let's understand. We are not. We are not fighting. No, no, no. Let me quickly answer the other question about uh, Nam the Canon. You are saying that yeah. I'm. Uh, am I supporting Nam the Canon? Uh, um, you know what he's doing, or I just want him to be out of the prison. I just want him to be out of the prison. Is someone is is in Nam the County is out of the prison today, and he continues from what what he was doing before, inciting violence everywhere. I will never use this platform to support him. It's better okay. I leave that okay. now. 
is, is yes. clear now. Now, yes, now, I just want you to be out of the prison because others are out. He's the only one left there, which is unfair. That is my stand. If he's out okay. and he continues from what he was doing or he's inciting violence across the country, you will see I will never mention Nam the Kano anymore on this platform. I will not allow anybody to mention the name here anymore. Okay. Thank you. Neither, neither, neither me, I don't like violence. I don't. I've said it before, I'm pro-life. I don't like violence. But what I'm saying is there are so many ways we can dismantle something without violence. Even P2B that keeps saying every time that we say politicians are the most wicked people that let's find a way to dismantle this criminality. He has never advocated for violence and I'm not, I don't. I don't. But what I'm saying is when we put our ass together, we know we are moving in the same direction, we achieve a better result. This is a government that is paying, yes, allegedly, I'll have to use that, allegedly paying 900 and something billion as subsidy. And meanwhile, we are buying fuel at 600 and something naira per liter. Meanwhile, the Buhari administration, we are paying 450 billion per month and fuel was 165. It's going to of a, a government that is going to make this country better. Now, this is a country that have artificially brought dollar low. You know what Nigeria is doing? Nigeria is selling bond and treasury bills to people with very high interest, and they are giving them the money. It's just like when you bring your, your land and say, or you, you bring a, a treasury paper, say, give me $1 million. I will give you 30% after one year. And the person gives you the $1 million, expecting to have one 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 million three hundred thousand after one year and then you use that one million dollars that the person gave you and go and subsidize dollar and it comes down at the end of the year the person will come for his money and it is going to be the money of the people that will be used to pay these people just to score a point just to make people feel like you are working that government is not working towards making nigeria a better country and, and that's the kind of thing that happened in kaduna when Aero five has has caused so much debt in that in that state, but he is walking away free. It is it is the the the, the, the governor said he is using seventy percent of state allocation to service debt, and that's why it is always good for us to call them out and dismantle it before they kill all of us. Now they have removed they have they have increased the, the rate of uh, electricity, electricity that used to be sixty six. Naira per, per unit. It's not going to sell at 225. That's the same country. These are the same people that we are looking at and watching that they will make Nigeria better. Somebody was asking if Tinubu went to Senegal. He went late. But if you know the kind of frustration that guy caused yesterday when he was going to that Senegal and eventually went late, he was only interested in snapping picture with the young man. So these are not the people that are going to help us carry our destiny forward. No. Another thing again that you say is sometimes you say people should protest in Abuja. They should take their protest to Abuja, not going back to the village. You see, protest is not compulsory really going to be done at the seat of power. George Floyd, the killing of George Floyd, George Floyd is from Houston. The killing of George Floyd, the protest for it was not done in Washington. It was not even done in this in the state where he was he was quiet. But that that protest brought the government of Donald Trump down. Okay, so Mr. I, let me quickly ask you. It's yes. not always going to be, oh, go take your protest. Can I, but no, can no, I ask no, no, you a question, no, 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 no. Can I ask you a question, sir? Uh, do you support the seat at home in the southeast? Seat at home in southeast, it was potent when it happened. No, no, just now, say yes and no. Do you support it? Every protest I support, I support not every protest, protest that I agree. It's not a protest I ask. Do you support the seat at home in South It's East? a protest now. No, okay. It's First, a protest. If you go to sit at home, you support it, right? It's a protest. It's a protest. If people agree to do something, is a if they say we we'll agree to go. If you no, are calling the no, youth out. No, sir. If we need to be honest with ourselves now, yes, come on. Yes. Mr. Ike, you know I have so much respect for you. There's I also of, have so much respect for you, but yes. I just want us to align. Yes, I just no, want us no, to align. No, we are aligning. You, there are series of videos 
and people complaining that they were forced to sit at home. A lot of people have complained. Are you going to tell me that you've not watched or seen any of this video? Okay, you, you talked about the woman that had the, you talked about the woman that had the vegetable. Hmm? You talked no, about the woman that had I'm only referencing to that because I played it on this. Uh, oh, video. yes. There are series okay. of videos that I could not play here because it's against the rules of the platform. You know, but okay. you are aware as well that people were forced that you must okay. sit at home. I, I, I tell you, I tell you, when, when you came up with that thing, I told you, I say, any protest that is made optional is never effective. If you make protest optional, if you like, come, if you don't like, it will never be effective. Now, I will not, as, as a person, I will not, I will not enforce it the way those people did. I will never do it. I, as a person, will never do it, and I will not support anybody that wants to do it. But when you make protests, when you make protests optional, it will never yes. be effective. Uh, you are right. You are right on that. I support you 100% on that. But sitting at home, sir, you know that means that we automatically crippled their business, right? They can't go okay. to work. You know, some people depend on daily job to eat okay. in Nigeria. Right. When you so, when you walk on the streets, when you walk on the street on protest, mm. you you are still not in your business center. You are not. No. When no, you listen, go, no. Listen, sir, between you and I, you know yes. this person called Samuel Ekba. I've ordered mm. them to sit at home for two weeks. Two weeks, sir. Not one day protest. Two weeks, and you are well that. This is what Let, I'm saying. Like, I, I'm not narrowing, I'm not narrowing down this discussion on Samuel Lepa. I don't like his style. What is the I'm one that passed it on? It. Was it not the camera that passed it on? Is the only, one that protest now? The I'm, I'm, only, I'm only talking about what how effective a protest could be. No, but you cannot discuss. You supported it. You say you just support. You supported it at home. If I said, I, home, I, I said, said if it is agreed, then the camera started the sit at home. No, no, no. He we are talking it. about now. Now the camera is a prison, sir. Let's let's be yes. Now. And you and know, I this, also said, I don't like beating around. I I talk and, I, and I also uh, said, Nigerian watch, Mister Ogami. Sorry to interject you guys. I want to ask both of you a question. Is it at home a bad idea? No, it's not a bad idea if you provide food and. Uh, uh, no, no, no. You can, you can, you can't see if you provide food. No, Nigerian watch. Don't say that. Say provide food for anybody. This is our country. Everybody got to get involved. But the only thing we are against is that you cannot you cannot oppress the people and not get well, organized to do that thing very well. Yes, okay, that, but they just confirmed now that you can force people to sit at home. No, 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 no. I, 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 I thought about enforcing. I thought about enforcing. I'm not I'm not but saying every, every every Monday, no day. Uh, every Monday, you must force people to stay at home. Let, let, Monday, let, 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 me tell, let me tell you something. Let me you tell you something. Know that you ask them, let's do let, this let, and they, let, let, let me explain something. Let's do it. They agree. That's the difference. Let me you explain something. Them. When, let, let me explain something. Not everybody something that must come out when you, when you ask for protest. The people that huh? did not accept, leave them. The that's, people that accept, take it. That's but what I said. The people that did not accept. Hold on now, hold on. I, I, I said, I said, I said a grand norm here to say any protest that is made optional is not effective. If you make it optional, it's not going to be effective. Let me tell you, the government are people think that it is the individuals that are suffering more in that sit at home. But I want to, I have done a very big research. The government are the ones that are suffering in that sit at home more than the more than the people, individual people. That's why they want to end but, it. Do you know why we I, agree with you on that, Mr. Ike? Yeah. Do you, and you also know why I will agree with sit at home. If Nigerians mm. all all over uh, all over uh, corners of Nigeria, everybody decide to sit at home for a whole month. Every I mean, if everybody come together and unite and do this, I will hundred percent support that. Hundred percent. But you know, it's not. Nobody will betray us. You remember how a uh, COVID nineteen they force all of us smells that for us. Right, if, but, but but you remember when answers was going on, it wasn't going on even in the north. They refused to follow it in the north, but it was effective. They didn't the, even the, even the protest that the, even the protest that uh, that uh, when they refused to join, when yeah? they refused to join, nobody forced them. When they refused to join, nobody. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it was it was it was so it was so organized. They are not going to stay sit at home. Don't force them. Don't yeah, but, as my stand, though, God, you know, forcing I, them is what I'm against. 
you don't my provide food for these people. Me and you, me and you, day, me and you, day on the same, me and you, day on the same level. When we say I don't like the way it was being enforced. Exactly. My I told brother. you. I told you. I said I, we are on the same no, page. In that. I agree with you. I agree with you. That's my only area. If maybe they were not forced, a lot of people were complaining. No food. They need to go to work, and you know the country where we came from. So people depend on daily job to eat. And you say me they sit down for us. You don't provide food. You don't provide any any source of how they want to sustain their their life. It, they they started complaining. Series of videos were circulating on social social media. Some of them that that forced themselves to come out to feed their children to feed their children. They were being beaten to stupor. We saw the videos. That's why I'm against uh, it. No finesse. Uh, uh, Mister Niger, watch. Uh, finally, the people that didn't do. The sit at home, the people that didn't join. When you say if it becomes a national thing, did you see the report that they released today about child poverty in Nigeria? We are states are having 97 percent of children under poverty. That's why we are talking about all of these things. I want Nigeria that works, but when I see that the people that are leadership position are not thinking the same way with us, we have to do. We have to employ another means to dismantle the criminality or else this country will go down i love this country this country will go down i love this country that if we don't devise another means and unite forces we will and, and dismantle this group of people this country will go down thank you i think i took a lot of time sorry All about right. it uh, mr ike thank you very much i understand where you are coming from my my own stand is just number one anything to do with violence is totally prohibited here that can never ever change forever that, you know, that, that watch you know, hold on let me finish that please you know that can never change anything to do with violence can never directly or indirectly be discussed here then two nam the Kano, i'll reiterate again the reason why i'm advocating for him to be released because it's unfair if we need to be truthful to ourselves it's unfair to kidnap the Kano. then why the terrorists are kidnapping people every day none of them is in prison right now as we speak you know, the kidnapping, the killing. I reported seven kids killed today again. Today, it's just it has become a, a daily occurrence like where every day that they kidnap the key, they kidnap the key. It's happening every day, you know, and nothing is being done. Now the canoe is dead. Some of the working freely. The, 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 so we're raised currently in America. That is why I'm hey, noise is coming from you, Mr. Black Panther. Please mute yourself for NASA. You know, so uh, that is why I'm saying now the canoe should be released, but for any reason. It's better I start saying this now before Una Consul say tomorrow, Niger Watch, you are a bad person. Because we have know our enemies on this platform that is here to monitor you, but they are not here to support you. Yes, they, their pretentiousness is, is gradually coming out. Let me reiterate quickly. In case, by God's grace, now the canoe is released, which I'm very, very sure, under Bola Ahmed, now the canoe will be released. And I'll be very, very disappointed if Tinubu refused to release that the canon, because for me, I knew Buari we never release that the canon. That one, there was no single hope. I never. But on that Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you know, because we all are from South South, I believe, yes, it will release that the canon. For any reason, not called release I will be disappointed. But in case it's released and tomorrow, now the canon end up, which I'm not going to tell him how he needs to live his life. Don't get me wrong. Maybe tomorrow he now ended up, you know, starting advocating for anything to do with violence again and all that. I'm not against his stand or whatever, but it can never be promoted here. His name will be prohibited on the channel. I want everybody to know that. Prospectively, in case, in case, Una come, come tomorrow, I will play this part to Una. Say, oh, Naja was a bad person for no reason. You don't have no evidences or whatever, but it's better I state it here. Thank you very much, everybody. Mr. Black Party wanted to say something. The next person that needs to speak to us is yes. Mr. George. I, I want to say something. I, I'm not being hypocritical. You see, that the, the, the what and uh, uh, this Samantha was doing was Please, oh, wrong, oh, as I oh, said oh, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. No, go ahead, Mr. Black Party, quickly. Okay. Somebody did. What he was doing, the, the, the problem I have with him is trying to force and beat people to do it. That is wrong. But that one thing son. I want to say, that I want to say here, many Nigerians are very lazy in terms of reasoning with people. 
Now, there was a time there were first scarcity in Nigeria during uh, Babangida time. Almost for four days, everybody was at home. And 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 you see them, okay. they, they couldn't Pata, do anything you know now. Black Pata, you know what? Uh, you know, you know, say you, you know they you, you know the feed do quick talk. Don't worry, after Mr. Jonathan, I'll be the next so that you have enough time to talk about this. Yeah, thank you very much, okay. uh, my brother. Yes, I'll come back to you. Thank you, Mr. Akin, my brother. Thanks for calling in. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Well, thank you very much, my brother. Good evening, and good evening to everybody on the panel. Sorry, but I was just um, I was uh, watching your program, and um, I just want to first of all say thanks for the good job that you are doing. And um, I've known you to be somebody who is very principled, and when you take a position, you are solidly uh, you solidly stand behind what you believe in. Thank you. I uh, the conversation going on this evening, my brother. I just want to say something. Uh, when you when you make a conscious like a very very uh, personal decision to support uh, Peter B in, in the last election, right? You put your chest fully out there without any apology to anybody, and you did that because you believe personally that uh, through uh, a, a good governance. Nigerian can be better, and you fought hardly like no any other person did. You understand? So yeah. you never ask for a cover or a penny. But I just want people to know that that they should not see that support as an opportunity to want to uh, 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 convince you to do something that you don't stand for. The platform is not for a divided Nigeria. The platform is for a better Nigeria. Yes. And if somebody out there believe that they stand for a, a divided Nigeria, they, they should go and look for somewhere to promote those kind of uh, 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 mindsets. So uh, in a situation whereby people are not trying to gradually move from that space of an election into the space of uh, Ipobian. Uh, for me, I don't think that is this is the right place for you guys, to for anybody to come and do that kind of politics. Look, I'm against uh, Nadi Kanu being detained, and I've said it on several occasions. Okay, that is because I don't believe that the state should use its power illegally on its citizens. Uh, regardless of what crime they feel like Nadi Kanu commit, they are judicial system, they are legal system, and the government should make sure that they are there to the rule of law. Exactly. And this is one of the reasons. This is why somebody like me, I don't support his, his continuous detention. I will say that there was nothing Nadi Kanu did that there was there's nothing Samoa Eba is doing now that Nadi Kanu did not do. If you, if you, out of your own mind, believe that forcing, forcing another man out of their will to carry out activities that is of your own principles, how is that a protest? If you, if you want to instigate a protest, it has to be people who, people who will voluntarily say yes, I support this belief system and I want to join in it. You cannot use gun a weapon of war to, 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 to enforce a protest. Even sitting at home in his home is not one, it's not a protest. Two, for you to then make it a mandatory that if anybody does not participate, then their life, I want you to listen to this now, their life will be at risk. Mm. Can anybody's brains tell me how that, how that how you cannot categorize that as a protest? It doesn't make sense. If you, if, if you believe that is a protest, buy your ticket, Pack your lot, go and live in Anambra, or go and live in Oweri, and then participate in sit at home. Let somebody tell you, a grown-up man, that you must stay in your house every Monday of the week. You have no choice. Do you understand what that is? Your liberties, your freedom as a person is taken away from you. You have no right to make your own personal choice on that day because somebody have a gun. How, how is that different from Taliban? How is that different from Hamas? How is that different from Al-Qaeda? It's, it's, it's absolutely not different. How people come and defend such behavior, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. My brother, look, you are, you are, you, you've, you've stood your ground. Don't let anybody tell you what to do or what not to do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Akin. Thanks for calling in. God bless you. Thank you. Ah, um, thank you so much, Kola. Yes, thank you, thank you. It, to be honest, I'm happy when this kind of call comes in because sometimes when I'm speaking on this laugh, it looks like I'm speaking Swahili, where whereas I'm speaking English. You know, it, 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 the platform is against some certain things, we, and we have said this so many times. People should just understand. We supported Peter Obi doesn't mean I should automatically start fighting for the, 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 the for Nigeria to destroy. I'm not part of it. I will never be part of it. You know, and I've also mentioned it before. 
you know, that in case you, you are part of the people that want Nigeria to be destroyed, this is not the platform where you need to be because this platform is not doing that. Please, I understand the pains that is that we all are facing in Nigeria. For me, I want a better Nigeria, and I believe through the rule of law, we can have that better Nigeria. Just imagine, say, Peter Obi, they allow him make him become the president. We would have had a better Nigeria now. A lot of you that is agitating today, I've mentioned this so many times on this platform, many people, at least, out of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, out of 100% of the people that is uh, 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 agitating today that they want to leave, I bet you'd have lose 70% out of it that want to still remain in Nigeria just because we already have a good governance. You know, all we need is to join it together to have the good people in power, not to join it together to destroy the country. I will never be part of that. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Let me come to Mr. Jonathan. Mr. Jonathan, thank you very much for your patience. I would like you to talk to us. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ellis. Uh, thanks. thanks to everyone there. Uh, the panelists, I greet you all and those that are on the, the comment section, those that are listening. Uh, thanks and welcome. Um, I would just uh, want to, you know, start with this, um, the Senegalese uh, president, the new fresh president of Senegal, you know, uh, fire. Again, I want to congratulate him. And then, you know, I heard the story today that I didn't know, I, just for the first time today, that he's married to two two wives. Uh, again, for me, that's not a real serious uh, issue. Uh, that is in line with his uh, religious, which is, is in line with his faith. What is more important, you know, to me and to uh, like-minded people that are, that are out there for the good of Senegal, for the good of Africa as a whole, that is what is more important is that now that he is president, let us wait for the decisions, the actions, and the policies that is going to take in the early days of his presidency. That is what is most important. That's what we want to see, you know, because they like to play this game, especially in Africa. It is still too early. Don't judge him. That is too, no. That's a that's that's a crooked way. One of the cheapest way, the crooked cheapest way that uh, mischievous people, politicians use to judge change, to cheat the population, you know. So there is nothing like political capital. If there is any political capital, is is the, the day he was sworn in as a president. He got all the accolades worldwide. Then the rework has begun. So let's wait and see what he's going to do in the coming days. And then we'll begin to judge, judge him based on that. And then you know, he's, a, he's a youth. And that brings me to the Nigerian youth. You see, it brings me to the Nigerian youth. Uh, the Nigerian youth or the Nigerian, the young people of Nigeria, I think that right now they are, they are gradually losing it. In fact, I would say probably, perhaps they've lost it somehow, the Nigerian youth. Because age is not the parameter to judge leadership. Age is not a parameter at all. If we're to be so, after all, Yaya Bello became governor at the age of 44. If he's not, in fact, he's in line as one of the worst governor in, you know, Nigeria has, any state in Nigeria has ever produced. Fashola became governor at the age of 46 or 48, if I'm not sure, I'm not, you know, around that age, you know. We know, we know the antecedent of these people. So youth itself, as we are kind of, we kind of believe or made to believe that it is the antidote, it is the way you know, to salvation when it comes to leadership or, or growth or development. It's a fallacy on its own. Um, especially for Nigeria, with emphasis on Nigeria, you know, of course, the youth, they bring the energy, they bring the vibrancy. But energy and vibrancy in itself 
is will become utterly useless if it does not come with with authentic leadership quality your energy and your vibrancy must come with that authentic leadership quality in nigeria today majority unfortunately majority of the nigerian youth they grow up to know nothing they just grew up to know nothing other than corruption they grew up to know nothing other than the get rich i mean get rich quick political schemes that's just all they know unfortunately for the nigerian youth the majority of the nigerian youth are, are so comfortable living a life of mediocrity you know right now it is it is not it is not about the elders we, we cannot just again put the entire blame on these people this man is 80 years old this man is 70 no we can't do that again we cannot we, that argument now is cheap it's a cheap argument it is it is more of the youth of nigeria who do not know better they just don't know better the nigerian youth who do not want to have a country they can call their own. They don't want it. That's why she always said all they want to be is to become PA. Spokesman like Bwala. Bwala is not 55. I don't know his age. I was trying to check his age. You can, everybody can try it right now. You can't get the age of this guy. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody will tell us his age here today. Maybe on the panel, maybe they will get a call, a call, a, a call in that will tell us Wallace's age. I believe he's still a youth, he's still a young guy. The majority of Nigerians, you don't want a, a, a bet, a, even a good country that they can call their own. So the what 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 are we talking about here? If you give an average Nigerian youth today or a young Nigerian today, the opportunity to lead, I can tell you with my eyes closed, it will most likely mess up. Most likely in Nigeria, it will most likely mess up more than even the leaders that we have. Youth that are not ready, they, they are not ready to fight for their rights. That's the youth we have in Nigeria today. That's why. It seems as if we're just talking. We're not getting any, any traction. That's why it looks that we're wasting our time because when people don't have anything else to say again, when they are tired of talking and they want a cheap way out, they will say, we are just talking. We are wasting time. Just, con just concede that you don't have anything else to say. We will understand you. But to say that we're just talking, it's a cheap one. We're not just talking. If we're just talking, even those that are in, the, in power, their power will be weak and useless without talking. That's why they have to employ the likes of Bwala. They need him to be talking. They know the power of talking. They know that they cannot survive without talking. But, but because they are aware that their policies and their actions are not working, they are not working for the growth of the country. That's why they have to they have to attach the talking. They need people to be talking. So when they want to get you out, they use talking to get you out. That's why they will employ someone like Bwala, a man. In fact, let me say this about Bwala. Since at this point in time, since he has displayed clearly that he's a shameless man, he has, he has, I'm not, the, he has showed it to the entire world that he's a shameless man. Then he deserved nothing but to be treated and responded to as such as a shameless man. He has displayed it that he's a shameless man. So he's going to be treated, he's going to be responded to as a shameless man who has, who, has, who has no integrity of any kind. 
Kudos to you, Mr. Elvis, for bringing that out. Another brilliant journalism. It does not matter. You can do that if it is a thousand times Buala comes in, comes out with his shameless attitude and talk. You also will bring that out a thousand times. Let him come out. We will remind him. Each and every time he comes out, we will remind him. I don't know which face he will, he, he, he will put if he sits on the, on the dinner table with his sons and daughters. You know, said so they don't know say so we get all this thing in our archives. I, it's, it's, I, I just don't know. As a father, he has lost any sense. You, that's how we have to respond to him as a shameless man. There's a way you respond, you respond to a, 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 a man that has shown respect. And there's a way you also respond to a man that is shameless. So I'm going to, I, I, that's the kind of response he's going to get for someone like me, a Nigerian like himself. Because I don't know how this man is going to sit at the dinner table with his sons and daughter, look them face to face in the eye, and tell them that he has any integrity. I don't know what no, lessons. No, Mr. Jonathan, in most yes. cases, their children are also selfish. In most cases, I'm telling and that's you. What, you know, you know, you know, you know. That's you know whether we like it or not. We are this world. We are living in a in a, in a world where is a village, is a global village. Whether they like it or not. His children have people. They have friends. They are out there. You see? So they cannot escape it either way. They can be in their own comfort zone, lying to themselves, laughing about it, enjoying it, but they will still go to the world and they will be confronted whether they like it or not. You know, I, I'm not naive of that. Yes, I know. That's why I started by saying that Nigerian youth don't know anything better this is all they know. They know about the, or the, everything they know is about shameless people getting to the height, getting to the summit of their career. Shameless people, people that lack integrity. Those are the people that will become that becomes governor. Those are the people that becomes president. Those are the people that becomes that becomes chief of staff. Those are the people that becomes senate president and senators. Shameless people, people that lack integrity. That's all Nigerian youth know. Put them in the age bracket, 18 to 40. That's all they know. They don't know anything better. They have not seen any man in Nigeria that work his life, that work his same, his himself out, that, that, that told the gate of integrity and get to the height of his career. There is none. They have not seen. Either in the political circle, either in the business circle. No. All they see are men that are crooked, men that are criminal, men that are shameless, men that lacks integrity, and becomes the Senate president and becomes the president. That's all they know. That's why the youth of today, we cannot rely on them. They don't know the country that they want. They cannot fight for their country. All they want to be is to live that life of mediocrity. All they want to do is that they are looking for the next opportunity to steal the way their mentors are doing. At the best, those that cannot steal, they want to get out of the country. We have youth that are not ready to fight for their own. Yes, if you have youth that are ready to fight for their own, you will not take their right. They, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't treat them and take their right away from them. Upon all of that, educated youth we're talking about here, we're not even talking of, for, of, of youth that, that, that does not have education. Even if the Nigerian education have been bastardized, but still, we still have educated, Nigerian youth are educated, but because they know better character is more greater even than the edu education that you acquired. The character that you imbibe right from home, from your parents, from your teachers, from your employers, those are the characters because right from home, they are not getting it from home. They are not getting it from schools. The professors are crooked. They are the ones that will go out there and rig elections. The employers are crooked. So what do you want from the Nigerian youth? 
If we're expecting anything from them, we're just deceiving ourselves. We just have to continue to talk. We have to continue to talk, demanding for a better change. But if we think that it's going to come from this Nigerian youth, we have not started. We don't have that Nigeria. Nigeria does not have that youth that Senegal has. Nigeria does not have that kind of youth that, Ma that, that Mali and Burkina Faso has, or Niger, even Niger. Nigeria does not have that. Oh, the, is it not the son of the son of, of, of Erufai running his mouth the other day when the governor came out and said he met he met almost 450 something billion of in, in you know in, in, in debts that the, the, the state is in debt of over 400 billion naira and then the son the the, 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 son, the son came out defending his crooked father the son of the of the of, of, of the former governor Erufai Belo that one who, who got to his place because of what because of because of nepotism mediocrity are you are you joking are you telling me that there are no nigerians that are better than him if we want to put it on a scale on a scale of standard on a scale of competency and take tribalism and nepotism out of it who is belo who erufai belo he will be nowhere to be found. But because we live in a country of where, where, where mediocrity thrives over competency and excellence, that's why you can have someone like that running his mouth. And that's the set of youth that we have across board in Nigeria. So my, 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 my take today is on the Nigerian youth. I will tell the line of Showare that the Nigerian youth that's all they are looking for. And when and, and when the leaders want to even sell them further, when they want to seal them and nail them and bury them further, they will say, experience. That you don't have experience. And they will take it. What experience are they giving them? Experience of criminality. Crooked experience. That's all they are delivering to them. And then they will take it. Remember, if those that are 40 years today, by the time of 42, 43, by the time Tinubu runs his eight, eight years, if he gets it, you are no longer, you are, you are, you are out of it. And by the time he get, they, they are still there for another decade, you are, you are you're already 60 years and then you too, because all you have learned is crooked experience, then you will also now want to be there and start implementing the same. So it is on the night. Let's begin to call on the Nigerian youth. That the Nigerian youth is playing a great role in bringing Nigeria down today. The Nigerian youth, they supposed to be the, the the hope that Nigerians can you know can rely on. But unfortunately, it is not the case. The Nigerian youth is actively actively involved in bringing Nigeria down. Look at all those, Mister Tinubu. They know the game. He brought them in so-called youth, people in their 30s, in their early 40s, they are all over this government, all around them. And these people have friends. They came from one family or the other. And the friends, they will be seeing them now thriving. They will be seeing them now living a, living, living a, 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 a good life, so to say. And then they will also be aspiring to do the same. So it is the Nigerian youth. The Nigerian youth that is not ready to get the, to get what 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 he deserves. That is the youth that we have in Nigeria today, unfortunately. And until the Nigerian youth stand up, if the Nigerian youth stand up, Nigeria will not be where we are. The nonsense that we experienced in 2023 will not will never have happened. That is the nation that we have, unfortunately. And that is what is giving the likes of people like Buala, a man that has no shame. Dane Buala, that is what he's paid to do. He's paid to do this. And that's what he has promised his paymaster. Yes, I agree with the, with the speaker. I believe it was Mr. Ike. That is it.
Expect him, expect him to come out every two, three weeks to say this. But each time he comes out, he will meet his match. He will meet his match. All attempts to frustrate Mr. Peter will be, will not only fail, it will drag him, Mr. Buala, it will drag you to your political demise. Every attempt, you are dragging yourself closer and closer to your own political demise. Mr. Elvis, I will leave it at that for now. Thank you Thank very you. much, and thanks to all the panelists. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jonathan. Wow, that was a wonderful submission. God bless you.